Hello. Welcome back. Right, I hope you're all doing well. Um, it's been a bit chilly over here. Yeah, I'm doing all right. Um, found myself at home today, and I got a comment on one of my videos last night, the Bob Dylan video that I did recently, and it was from, let me read, Rahan Meyer. Can we see all loads of L's? Your Bruce Lee collection in one video with a big smiley face. <sighs> to be honest with you, I don't really have a huge Bruce Lee collection. Um, I'm a massive Bruce Lee fan. Um, I got rid of stuff along the way through the 80s. Um, I mean, there's some great channels on YouTube. You know, you've got Dave Love, uh, Charles Damiano, Hector Martinez and others. But... Um, they have got Bruce Lee collections, but I have some stuff. And um, I thought, well, it's Bruce Lee's, I mean, 50 years this year for Enter the Dragon 1973, 2003, and obviously the untimely death. It'll be his 50th anniversary. I wonder, there's bound to be something special happening. I don't know what, though. Anyway, and also, as I've mentioned to you, before I think um, I don't really do Facebook anymore but I do run a, a Bruce Lee page called Bruce Lee Movies where I put artwork and articles and stuff on there and it was growing quite well well just before Christmas we hit 100,000 members so amazing who would have thought you know I remember when there was just seven of us I didn't really start posting until the first lockdowns I didn't really you know I set it up in 2018 I think in November and because basically I only wanted to do it because a lot of the Bruce Lee pages that I follow, I, they'd have an image on there and you click on it, it'd be a little tiny, it was awful. So I wanted to um, just put sort of high quality images on there and a little bit of reference to them. And when I run out of info, just I created some stuff in Photoshop, some posters and stuff. Uh, you can see some of them behind me there that I've designed. Um, obviously on the sort of like, paying homage to the original UK VHS and Betamax covers, you know, um, my own little spin on it. Um, but anyway, 100,000 members, fancy that. Who'd have thought? Now, I've never ever promoted, like, stripy rambles on there. Like, if I've done a Bruce Lee video, I've never shared it on uh, Facebook. I do try and keep them separate, but obviously on here, you all know I just like to ramble on. And it's something I'm quite proud of. But, you know, 100,000. But I do put a lot of effort into the artwork. And I am actually in the process of making a book. But that's for another day. So anyway, without further ado, I thought I'd show you what I've got in my collection. I don't have a lot. So it's going to be a bit of a ramble. So if you're not really in the mood to hear me waffling on, maybe I'll see you later. But if you're interested in what bits of Bruce Lee stuff I have, um, I'll happily show you. Right, so let's start with a top shelf, shall we? Now, there's my grandson Georgie <laughs> in his Game of Death outfit. And um, obviously he's long outgrown that now, he's four now. Um, but that's something I like to keep. Now, at the top, I'll put a picture of this on there. It's a way of a dragon poster that I designed in 2020, I think it might have been. Yeah, and then obviously there's a Marlow one and a Long Street one there. Done in the style of them vintage. These, these amazing artworks that was on the original VHS in the UK. So anyway, so I've got Georgie there, then posters there, and this is pretty much my Bruce Lee DVD and Blu-ray collection. So it's not extensive. I haven't got every single one. I don't have any of the cut ones anymore. And... Uh, I had all the platinum editions of the Hong Kong Legends, but when the box set come out, for some reason I just got rid of them. Probably space saving, I was moving about a bit. So obviously we've got the Blu-ray of Enter the Dragon there. I am Bruce Lee. Uh, the box set, his greatest hits, you know, the 4K ones. Um, Bruce Lee Master Collection, which I've done a video on. It's on YouTube, I'll put a link to that. I don't even know if my one of that works anymore, so I might be just doing a staying alive. But anyway, so that's quite a nice box set as well. Um, then the one that I mentioned that I got rid of my Hong Kong Legends for, these actually blew me away. Well, actually, it was the original Big Boss, to be honest with you. And then when Fist of Fury came out and it was all uncut, I was like, hello. 
because I'd never seen the picture look as good. I had American versions long since gone now, you know, the master collection. So the widescreen wasn't that good. I kind of wish I'd have kept them now, but you know, would I have watched them? Probably not now. I suppose it is nice to have some. So anyway, so that's the um, 30th anniversary edition. And the, this is eyes in six discs. And you, obviously you've got, you haven't got Into the Dragon, but you've got all the other films, plus Game of Death 2. Um, and some nice bonus stuff on here. And the menus are really nice. You've got the audio commentaries by Bay Logan. I can listen to Bay Logan talk about martial art films all day long. He knows so much. Right, then we've got the uh, Region 1 Blu-ray of Enter the Dragon. You know, with all the gump that came in it, the patch and all the posters. I'm not going to get it all out. Because if I start getting everything out, guys, the battery's going to run out. 100% or I'm going to run out. Right. And now these are the Blu-rays, the UK Blu-rays of Game of Death, The Way of the Dragon, Fist of Fury, and of course the Big Boss. These are dual, you know, so you've got the DVD and the Blu-ray in there. But look at that artwork. It has actually got um, different artwork on the innards of these. Call me old-fashioned if you like. I love this. Right, then we've got some... <laughs> we've got some... <laughs> along the way. These funny little figurines. So we've got two of them. One with the nunchucks posed under his armpit with his arm out. You know, the classic Bruce. And the other one's kicking. Don't know what the names of these are. Then I've got another one, Federia. He's got uh, his nunchucks. I don't know if you can see him. Right, and then I've got this guy. He used to have a stick. And there used to be three of these. But along the way, I should have kept a bit more care. He used to have a... I think he had a bow staff. I'm not entirely sure. He might have had a bow staff. So that's them. And then... Me pal Scott got me this fella. <laughs> I should have kept... Do you know, I kept it in its packaging three or four years and then one day I thought sod it I want to enjoy it so I got it out and then I kind of regretted it now I'm indifferent <laughs> but I think I would have liked to have kept it keeps the value on them doesn't it that's the thing and here I've got the uh it's just a fridge magnet of the big boss right now this is a UMD do you remember the a Sony PSPs this is a UMD of uh into the dragon how funny is that look and i have actually still got my psp in a box upstairs but yeah into the dragon on umd and we've got a few miscellaneous uh death by misadventure documentary martial arts master the unbeatable bruce lee the immortal dragon the intercepting fist and then we've got the Little Dragon, and this contains the real Bruce Lee documentary. You know, the one with um, it shows when this first came out. I think it was Seraphim Carol Alexis. I don't know, I remember it coming out right. And it says contains real footage of Bruce Lee. And I thought it was like <gasps> it was, but it was when he was a kid actor in Hong Kong, so you know. But to be honest with you, the Dragon Lee film at the end. I actually love it. It's cheesy, he's kicking rocks, he's kicking plant pots. <laughs> but I really like it as it goes. But yeah, there's that on here and the young Bruce Lee. So there's that. that. Then we've got Bruce Lee the Legend and the Man the Legend. I'd like to see these on Blu-ray, to be honest with you, if you don't mind. Especially Bruce Lee the Legend. That was the official one after Bruce died. Um, then I've got Bruce Lee, The Lost Interview, you know, the Piers Burton show. Circle of Iron, which was originally going to be called Silent Flu, which Bruce Lee and Sterling Sullivan wrote, uh, starring David Carradine. I kind of just had it. I, it's part of the Bruce Lee thing, I guess. And obviously, The Green Hornet and Fury of the Dragon. Double pack. And then finally on the top shelf, the 25th anniversary of Enter the Dragon on uh, DVD. It's got a book in it. 
um, a few focus. It's quite a nice set, actually. Uh, it's got the soundtrack. Oh, yeah. I haven't got dig right into it, but that's all that's in it. There's loads of stuff. DVD, lobby cards, book, and CD. So, and the Dragon 25th anniversary. Nice box that is. Right, so that's the top shelf done. All right. Um, well, put the UND back. Right, I suppose the second shelf. This one's going to take a little bit quicker because there's not as many individual items on here. Obviously, I've got this statue. The wife got me a couple of years ago of Bruce doing a kick. A game of death. Watch. <laughs> right. Chinese Kung Fu playing cards. I've had these 10 years. Yeah. They're in a case. But they're still sealed. Never opened them. Tempted a couple of times, but we have got another set of playing cards. So if we do sit down and have a game of cards or whatever, every now and again, we've never actually... I've been tempted, though, to have a look at some of the pictures. I've seen loads of pictures of Bruce. I've got loads of pictures of Bruce. I'll create pictures of Bruce. Um, yeah, so... I don't even know where I got them from. Years ago. Maybe Cam's is a martial arts shop in the town. I've known him since the 80s. I used to get a lot of my Bruce Lee stuff, the flip books and all that paraphernalia. They're all worth a fortune now that I just let go along the way. Anyway, there he goes rambling. Right, here we've got another one of them little fellas from up the top. But this guy's got a pair of double chucks from Game of Death, obviously. Big-headed sort of character. Right, and here is... Bruce Lee, the lost interview on VHS that I bought. It was called Mandarin Superstar. Some of you younger people might not remember these, but I remember when they came out and it was amazing. It was an amazing time. Probably one of the best times, for me anyway. All of a sudden, all these films in glorious colour was coming out. But the Bruce Lee films was always cut, that bit used to piss me off to be honest with you excuse my swearing but James Furman was mad for it he didn't like the nunchucks right next up a couple of years old obviously I used to have a pair of these and I wore them um, I've got a picture um, I needed some new ones literally the soles are falling off but I haven't worn these I've just put them on the shelf um, to go with the wife got me last year. Now, I did do a video and I wore this, but uh, it don't look the best on me. <laughs> the top. I probably won't ever get the bottoms. I mean, I couldn't think of an uglier sight. I mean, there's not many people that can pull off this tracksuit and look good. Like, let's be honest, Bruce Lee did. All right, Uma Thurman, but she's a girl. Girls can maybe get away with it. You've got to have a good physique to pull that off, in my opinion. Um... I've got a little Bruce Lee mug over here with the Game of Death, Fists of Fury and Enter the Dragon on it. Chipped. And the 25th Anniversary Limited Edition Collector's Box set. You can still get pretty cheap, to be honest. Uh, the Man, the Myth. Man, the Legend. Special widescreen edition. You get a book with it. Oh, obviously, it's on, it's on that videotape thing again. Uh, so you get quite a nice book of it and a couple of like, postcards. So, yeah, nice to have, I suppose, but I don't even have a VHS player no more. But I could get one, I suppose. Right, one of my treasured uh, possessions that I've got is a signed autograph of from John Saxon. Obviously, starting the end of The Dragon with Bruce. Um, obviously, he's no longer with us, John Saxon, so... God rest his soul. I like John Saxon. And um, I've not got all the soundtracks. I have a couple on CD that I couldn't be bothered to go to the top of the house and get. Um, but I've got, obviously, the Big Boss soundtrack, which came out a couple of years ago. That was nice to get on vinyl. Uh, Enter the Dragon on picture disc. And the original soundtrack to Enter the Dragon. I would like to get the other ones on vinyl, but if you want them... It would be nostalgic, but, you know. I think they're pretty cheap on there, but you want the ones with the Obi sticker. 
I've got the soundtrack to Jackie Tran's um, Battle Creek Ball or Big Rule, and it's got the Obi sticker, and it just, I don't know, it just makes it seem special. It was done by Lalo Sifrin as well, who'd done the music to Enter the Dragon, as a side note. And finally, there's a picture from Why the Dragon, which I bought for a pound or two pound many, many years ago. Before the internet, of course. Now you just go online and print them off. Right, so before I get onto the few books that I have, I thought I'd just show you these few posters. Now, I was going to sell them, actually. I was I was going to start sort of making my own. And sell, but do you know what? I just couldn't be bothered, really. So I don't know what I'm going to do with these yet. But I've got, here we go, the Immortal Dragon. These are a bit bigger than the ones I've got on the wall here. The Man, the Legend. I've done a different one of this now for the book. Enter the Dragon. So these are one-offs. So I'm not doing these again. I am Bruce Lee. All in that style of the old VHS. The Green Hornet. I changed that one there as well. Be Walter. And Bruce Lee, the legend. So they're just going that this slipped him back in the cardboard. I don't know what I'm going to do with him yet. I'll figure something out. Right. The books. I like to sit on the floor for this one. <laughs> right. So, this is where my books are kept. I don't have that many. There's hundreds of Bruce Lee books, magazines, articles, Kung Fu monthlies, which I had everyone again along the way. Anyway, what I've got. A Thousand Piece. Game of Death. Um, a Jigsaw Puzzle which I did do. Um, I'll stick an image on so you can see. I did do it. Um, looks fantastic. When you see it on there, obviously, uh, it looks like Stephen Morris's artwork. Uh, Steve Morris, he does a lot of Bruce Lee paintings and stuff. It looks like some of his work. I don't know whether it is, but it didn't say that on there. But um, So I really enjoyed doing that. Then you got probably one of my favourite Bruce Lee collectibles, The Treasures of Bruce Lee. And this book is incredible. It's packed with posters, artifacts, if well, all of that stuff, not the statues, but all of that stuff. I hope you can see it all right. I've, the sun's coming into my office and it's really, really poor. You probably can't see it there. Packed, ram packed with stuff, and so it's some really amazing images. All Bruce Leaf uh, movies are covered. It's absolutely one of my favourite. And I did actually have a video showing this on YouTube. But they hit me with a copyright strike when I was off of YouTube, and so I just deleted the video. I just couldn't, couldn't be dealing with them. The Authorised Visual History of Bruce Lee um, by Steve Kerridge. Steve Kerridge is, like, you know, he's the most respected. He, get, he is the Bruce Lee image collector, and he puts together some really amazing stuff to shout out to Steve Kerridge, uh, forwarded by Shannon Lee. A beautifully put together book, with, you know, beautiful images some good text really nicely laid out highly recommended then we've got part of the Chan Yuk collection and there's quite a lot of these out there uh, I only have a few um, this is the man who shot Bruce Lee this is done by Rick Baker um, you can see them on eBay they are about on Amazon a little bit quite good quite good books and this guy Chan Yuk was a guy who took a lot of photos of Bruce Lee for his uh, film career so this covers Big Boss End of the Dragon, all the way through. You know, some really beautiful images in here. And in the same sort of collection by Ricky Baker, you've got End of the Dragon photo collections, volumes one and two. These are beautiful books as well. Nice images. Another amazing book. Bruce Lee, Mandarin Superstar by Steve Kerridge and Darren Chua. I think that's how you pronounce his name. Now, this was a gift from Alan Canvan. Um, Alan Canvan done the Game of Death Redux on the Criterion Collection. Well, I collaborated with Alan on the Game of Death 2.0 that's coming out. Hopefully it was supposed to be out last year, so I haven't been in touch with him. I need to find out that. So I've done the artwork for it. Um, so, yeah. But this book he sent me, um, and it is amazing. A wealth of knowledge. All to do with a big boss at around that period. This is special. And it's got a really nice feel to it, this book as well. So, yeah, really like that one. And then we've got The Art of Expressing the Human Body, um, compiled and edited by John Little, another authority on Bruce Lee, John Little. Um, beautiful book, loads of text. Bruce Lee's 
uh, exercise regime, you know, tons and tons of knowledge. A lovely big book. And most Bruce Lee collectors, uh, small collections or huge, probably have this book. It's done in so many different versions. Uh, the Tao of Jeet Kune Do by Bruce Lee. You know, he's fighting methods and articles. He's done some of his drawings. Nice one to have. Most people have it. Bestseller. Over 750,000 copies sold worldwide. That's what I mean. A lot of people had this. I've had this for years. Right. This is a nice book too. Bruce Lee, The Celebrated Life of the Golden Dragon. And this is edited by John Little. Uh, this is another one. It's got some spectacular coloured photos, black and white images from the films. All throughout Bruce Lee's life. It's really... Oh, hello. The Bruce Lee Collection. Now, these were cut. I remember these out. Look how cheap. £5.99 each. Not nowadays. I wonder what... Oh, it comes. It might have come with Bruce Lee, the man, the legend, possibly. Media Asia Distribution presents. Let's have a little quick look, shall we? Contents. Oh, man, the legend poster or the legend. Wow, this is old. I mean, not vintage old, but it's quite old. So yeah, that's quite nice. Anyway, I'll keep that in here. But this book, The Celebrated Life of the Golden Dragon is another winner another must for any bruce lee fan bruce lee a life by matthew polly this book was fantastic after reading this i felt like i followed his whole life it was so well written and, and interesting um it's one i'll read again at some point it's a big book but amazing and so well researched Kudos to Matthew Polly for this one. Love this book. Then we got Bruce Lee Letters of the Dragon. The original 1958 and to 1973 correspondence edited by John Little. I haven't really looked into this one yet. Uh, the wife got me it for my birthday last year. I've had a little browse through, but I've not had a real dig deep in. But all the letters and the correspondence, well, probably not all the letters. <laughs> That's a video for another time. But yeah, Letters of the Dragon. Very nice to have. Bruce Lee, Words of the Dragon. Interviews, 1958 to 1973. Again, edited by John Little. Um, another lovely book. It highlights and glosses over a lot of stuff. Nice to have in the collection. This only came out last year, I think it was. Uh, Bruce Lee, The Nearly Man. A 1964 to 1973 timeline. Very interesting. Um, again, this was... Who done this book? Martin Shell. Nice job. I think you've done an excellent job. It's got some really cool photos. Look, um, that is Sharon Tate's funeral. And you can just see a little glimpse here. You can see Bruce. Because obviously Bruce Lee knew Sharon Tate. And Roman Polanski. Um, and Jay Sebring used to do Bruce's hair. Bruce, uh, Jay Sebring was one of the people that died as well as Sharon Tate um, the Manson murders that time in Hollywood eh only two more and then I'm done I can shut up <laughs> and stop going on um, Striking Thoughts Bruce Lee's Wisdom for Daily Living I've ref referenced this book so many times you want to have a little chat about love, marriage, problems finance what Bruce Lee would have done and it is quite an interesting read, a nice little book to have pocket size you can take it with you i do recommend this one and this is a true pocket size book this is my last book i've got bruce lee wisdom for the way and it got like little quotes remember success is a journey not a destination have faith in your ability and you will be just fine that's good isn't it oh nice little book to have now this is pocket size you can literally stick it in your coat pocket and there was a couple of these in there. The Way of the Dragon, I don't think so, do you? Uh, then The Way of the Dragon with a Game of Death picture. Go figure. So yeah, that's kind of it. I've got CDs, I've got countless t-shirts and posters upstairs as well. But that's predominantly it. I've got a load of documentaries, obviously, on my computer. And because I run the Bruce Lee group, I've... Um, 
extensive files of images of Bruce that I've created, that I've got off the internet and I've manipulated a little bit. So, yeah. There you go, Rahan. That's kind of all my Bruce Lee collection. Um, I hope it wasn't too monotonous for all of you. And those that have got to the end, amazing. I don't know how you've done it. Um, but yeah, a little bit of thought up towards Bruce Lee this year, I think. Um, it's the 50th anniversary since his sad passing. And 50th anniversary of his most iconic movie, Enter the Dragon. Um, yeah. But like I said, guys, you know, I've got a little collection. I would highly recommend Dave Love, Charles Damiano, and Hector Martinez. I'll link to their channels down below. Have a look at some of their collections. If you're into Bruce Lee, it will blow your mind. And they seem really nice guys as well. Really nice. Right, I'm going to love you and leave you guys. Um, if you are on Facebook and you're into Bruce Lee, I'll put a link to the Bruce Lee Movies group. Anyway can't ramble on too much longer this video will go on forever have yourselves a great weekend guys much love and i'll be back with another ramble real soon bye now